everybody. Good morning from me, Johnny Bryan. What a difference a year makes. 12 months ago, I was commentating on the second that was school's day of my career, and that day it was minus three with a wind chill of minus seven. Today, it's the hottest day of the year. 21 degrees is going to be here in the southeast of southwest of London, I should say, here at Twickenham. We're back. It's Natwest Schools Day for 2014, live from Twickenham all afternoon here on a gorgeous Saturday afternoon. Tap and go. Cameron Hine. Hine is there! Try time! Cameron Hine is the scorer! Tough and goal work for Gravely. And the team in pink and black are celebrating. They get first blood and open another county in the truck of them. Tough and goal. It worked. There's Hine. Beats one man. Take, wins over the tackle from Gordon Young. Beats Rory Cannon. Cameron Hine. Draws first blood in this vast final. Great new lead, 5 0. Ball turned over again by Altrigham. They have possession back inside the Gravening half. Ryan Taylor. Tim Palmer. Canham. Takes it one by another. Chance in the corner here. It's going to be a try for Dan Mahoney. Level game. Level game here in Twickenham in this last final. Good pace of play this from Altrincham. Good move this was. Taylor did well. Taylor did the work. Mahoney did the business. Level game, five apiece. Tap and go indeed. Christos Niku. Estwani. Canham. Kind of goes right. Siafratu. Harrison Ward just short. Canham. Niku. Count him again, chance at the corner, Ratu, is he there? Drive for Altrincham at the death of the first half, what a bonus! Siaf Ratu, 17th try of the season. Has given a seven point lead to Altrincham. Nell's being chewed away. And Graveney have been quite strong at the scrum in the second half. Let's see how they get on here. Don't know where the foot in. Picked up. Go. Hein. Is he there? Just short. Chance again. But I think it might be turned over. I think Oscar might have a chance to clear, but. Held up. Five meter scrum. Let's have a look at it from behind. A couple of good hits here. So many other man. That's, that's how close they've been. Tittle John tried, tried to get there. Just held up. Scrum five. 
Oldscombe score absorbing the pressure. Dunno. Same again. T Cameron Hein. He gets it there this time. Again, just short of the line. Hein has it. Picked up. Chance though. Menno on the right hand side. It's Graham back. He's the end. He is at the corner. He's had a quiet game, but did his job when needed. Grainy school back in it. 12 10 to score. Twelve ten, important kick here for Matt Addison. They need one hell of a move to, to even give them an opportunity to get into this game. They don't want to kick it. Addison thought about kicking it. He said he's going to go run himself. And it, but the referee said there was crossing. There was obstruction. And it will be a penalty to Altrincham, and that could be that. This is what happened. Yeah, it was Patel Haddad causing the obstruction. I think time may be up now. That is it! Altrigo school have won the Vars! Altrigo school! Adelaidius at Twickenham! A great opening tie on that West Schools Day. So Ryan Taylor collects the, the Nat West Vars for 2014. Altigum. School are the champions. I spoke to you b before the game and obviously you'd said that you know, it was a massive occasion for you and it was a story that, that a lot of people have got behind, many neutrals have got behind and it's, it's been fantastic for you, hasn't it? But at the same time, how do you feel that this can be a, a platform for developing rugby at Gravney and, and in similar schools as well in the London area? I think um, schools have just got to be positive and, and, and not find things a barrier. Um, so if they can find reasons not to do things, they should be able to find ways of, of being able to do things. And, and if we can inspire other, other schools to do the same, then, then that would be great because it is possible and there are means and ways of doing it. I can't speak highly enough of school club links. I think they're absolutely invaluable. And if any other schools are out there and they don't have club links, that's, that would be the first thing I'd say they should do is to go out there, find a link and, and get the boys playing club rugby as well. Um, it shouldn't be what school you go to that determines how far you get in this kind of competition. Stasha, a wonderful story, a fantastic day and a tremendous effort from your guys out there. Well done. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank you. Steve, you thought it was all over. It is now, isn't it? <laughs> Finally, now I was I was so so nervous. I thought uh, I thought we'd done enough, and then you've got to play another play. And Gravely put pressure on us, and and luckily we just managed to somehow get the ball out, and it was absolutely brilliant. So fantastic. Now we spoke pre-game about the sort of the attack versus defence mentality that, that we were going to see in this game, and and your defence was breached early, and you went five 0 down. Did that worry you at all? Because Gravely are intimidating on the attack, aren't they? They are absolutely. They are a fantastic side and really really good to watch. I'm sure that everybody. At Twickenham today, our supporters will appreciate what great running rugby they play, and it's really refreshing that they play that brand of rugby. Now, realistically, if we'd have gone toe to toe with them in that regard, we'd have got we'd have got beaten. But we we stuck to our game plan, and we knew what our strengths were, and we we played to them. And luckily, we managed to come away with a very narrow victory. I mean, talking of Graveney, obviously everyone's aware of the story that has come yeah, out of their yeah. side. Was that intimidating to you at all as a coach or the players, or do you just focus on your own thing? Yeah, we focus on our own thing, but it, it, it's inspiring, if anything. I mean, Stasha, we, 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 we spoke last night over, over dinner and she was absolutely superb and, and uh, particularly after the game there she's been so gracious and the story we heard about the Graveney boys it's, it should be an advert to all of rugby really um, to say you know they've come, they've come from not having a pitch to getting to Twickenham so blooming boys well done Graveney. And what does it mean to you? 
to win the cup here at Twickenham? Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's hard to put into words. I mean, I've nearly lost my voice and uh, <laughs> the boys the boys will just soak in this moment. They'll remember this for years to come. You don't, you know, not many people can say they've played at Twickenham, let alone, uh, you know, won at Twickenham. So that's fantastic. And very few people can say they've coached and won at Twickenham as well. So congratulations to both <laughs> them and you. A fantastic achievement. Genuinely well done. That's very kind. Thank you very much.